Okay, so this video is going to cover how to find intercepts when you're given an equation. So first, let's review the rules for finding the intercepts. So visually, when looking at a graph, right, a typical line is going to cross the x-axis and the y-axis at a certain point. So all an x-intercept is, is where does my line cross the x-axis, which for this drawing here would be this point there. And since this is my y-axis right here, and my line is cutting through about this point here, that is what my y-intercept would be. So algebraically, when we're given an equation and we need to find the x and y-intercepts, these are the rules that we would use. To find the x-intercept, we would set y equal to 0, and we would solve the equation. And to find the y-intercept, we would set x equal to 0 and solve. So I'm first going to work on finding the x-intercept. So the rule says if I'm going to solve and find the x-intercept, I need to set y equal to 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this equation, and instead of y, I'm going to plug in 0, which would look like this. Now, plugging in 0 for y is going to make that term cancel, so I'm just going to drop down to 3x is equal to 6. And the only thing left to do here, I'm solving this equation 4x, and since this is 3 times x, I'm going to do the opposite and divide both sides by 3. And on the left, it would cancel, dropping down the x is equal to, well, on the right-hand side, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So an x-intercept be aware that the x-intercept is a point, and a point is made up of an x and a y value. So when I'm stating my x-intercept, I need to make sure that I have an x and a y value for it. So here I solved and got that x is 2, and we had plugged in a 0 for y. So my x-intercept is 2, 0. So doing the same thing, but we're going to now find the y-intercept, our rule says that in order to find the y-intercept, we're setting x equal to 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the same equation, 3x plus y is equal to 6, but now we're going to be plugging in 0 for x. So when we do that, it's going to look something like this. And now, well, 3 times 0 is 0. That term's going to cancel. So essentially, I can just drop down my equation here, y equals 6, and I'm pretty much done. There's nothing left to do here. But once again, I do need to piece together my coordinate. So here we had plugged in a 0 for y, and we solved and got 6 uh, for my y. So we plugged in 0 for x and got 6 for y. So my y-intercept is 0, 6. So this is how you would find the x and y-intercepts when given an equation.